Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another draft site tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, so today I am going to be sharing with you a tip on editing blocks for St. Patrick's Day inside a draft site. Hey, look, we use blocks all the time, right? Hopefully you do. If you have any part, anything at all that you use all the time, you should make a block out of it so that you can use it in your existing drawing or in other drawings. Um, it's kind of universally, they're known as library symbols. And it's not uncommon that we decide later on that we need to edit them, right? And that's what we're going to talk about today. You might want to edit them so that you update all of the existing inserted blocks inside of your drawing, or you might decide that you want to edit it and only update that one and any further instances. You might wanna make a whole new block, for example. So that we're gonna take a look at that today. Now there's a couple different ways that you can edit blocks inside of DraftSite. There is an edit block feature, which is similar to block edit inside of AutoCAD. That allows you to go in and put all those dynamic block options in there called custom blocks inside of DraftSite. That's another day, another time. I'm gonna to talk to you about this really cool feature called edit component. I love this. Very simple way to make changes to your existing block definition. And I'm gonna show you why I like this one a lot. So I'm gonna say edit component, and I am going to be focusing on editing this forklift, because well, that just sounds like fun. And when I click on there, you'll see, hey, the name of it is forklift. And you'll see on here that it has this option to automatically please select all of the nested entities. This is a cool feature because if you have nested blocks, you also have the ability to edit those objects as well. Oh, I love that. In fact, if you have a block inside of an external reference, no problem, you can edit that as well. So, yay, I love it. Very, very powerful command. I'm gonna say okay, and you will see that the whole drawing kind of gets grayed out except for the block that you are editing, which I love. So keep your focus. Now, I want you to also look at the command line. I want you to see that it says use close component or save component, component to exit the command. All right, so we're kind of in this little never world and uh, don't forget that. You have to exit the command or bad things will happen. All right, now, I'm not gonna type in those two big long commands. I'm just gonna come up here to this little icon up here, this tool, that, the close component tool, because I'm lazy. I'm gonna type it in and all that stuff. That's way too much. So let's do some damage. Huh? Let's change our forklift around. I'm gonna just go ahead and select these objects here and I'm gonna do a little E for erase. Gone, okay? This is not a very good forklift anymore. Very inefficient forklift, but that's okay. We're just having a little bit of fun. So now I'm finished and I'm gonna say close component and it wants to know, do I want to save the changes to the existing block definition? Now, if I say save, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of inefficient forklifts in my drawing, right? It's gonna update all of the blocks. Okay, let's try that. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm gonna zoom out. Ah, all, my, all of my forklifts are, they're not gonna be any good. They're not gonna be able to pick anything up, right? Oh well, that's okay. So that's that's one option to doing the save, right? So let's do edit component again. And let's grab our poor little forklift. And I'm gonna say, okay, in my little never, Neverland world again. And I'm going to do some more damage. We're gonna make it an even more inefficient forklift. Let's erase those objects. And this time, incidentally, you will see there is another option available to you where you can edit the base point. Sometimes you wanna change the insertion point, right, for our block, that's another option available to us. But let's come up here and let's go to close component. And this time, I'm not going to edit all of them and make them all even worse than they already are. I'm gonna do a save as, and I'm gonna call this forklift two. All right, so I'm gonna say, okay, now I have a new block called forklift two. Now it wants to know whether or not I want to replace this particular instance with my new block. Now if I say no, it's gonna put the, the one-legged <laughs> one forklift back on there, the one-armed, whatever, right? If I say yes, it's gonna leave it as it is and it's gonna replace it with the new one. So now you'll see that I have the one really not efficient at all forklift over here. That poor thing won't be able to pick anything up and actually none of them are gonna be able to pick any of them up, let's face it. And then I have um, the other one. So technically, this block should be called forklift, just regular forklift, right? And if I do a quick little check, this guy should be forklift too, right? Okay, you with me? All right, so that is the edit component command inside of DraftSite. Super easy peasy to use. 
Very, very powerful, especially when you get into nested objects, which I didn't show you today, but definitely try it out. I hope that you enjoyed this little St. Patrick's Day tip and, you know, top of the morning to you and uh, have a great rest of the week. Thank you so much for joining me.